For this method, we're gonna be using a garland strip and glue dot. So this is just your sort of garland kit. Um, and this is the deluxe build. So it's going to be a lot of 16 inch balloons mixed in with 11s. And then at the very end, we're gonna add the five inch balloons on. The first step is to inflate all of your balloons. So we're gonna start with the 16s and the 11s. I sometimes will wait till the end to do the five inch balloons. Doesn't really matter when you're doing this method. You can just inflate them all at the beginning if that is the most convenient. A um, couple of different inflators. You can grab one of these guys from Amazon. These work great if you have double stuffed balloons because you can actually use them for the 11 inch and bigger. Um, we have another video, our frequently asked questions. It's gonna show you how to do that because today I'm actually just using single layered balloons. Um, for the five inch balloons, um, if you're using double layered balloons, if you're following along and you have double stuffed balloons, you're going to need a hand pump for these. Um, this little Amazon guy does not create enough pressure to inflate them, unfortunately. Uh, we also have in our frequently asked questions how to inflate these because sometimes it causes a little bit of a problem. Um, I, I don't, I'm not close up, but essentially the biggest thing is not to shove the inside balloon or crinkle it up. You just have to make sure you set it on there really gentle, and then you have to make sure that you're holding that tight as you inflate. So it actually isn't terribly difficult. You just wanna make sure these two balloons are resting kind of without shoving that little one in. Um, that's kind of the trick. In your instructions, it's going to caution you not to overfill your balloons. Most specifically, that's, that's talking about your 11 inch and your five inch balloons. So this is about how big you would fill it if you're doing helium. This is about how big you want it for a garland. Um, so if you fill all of your balloons this full and you're doing the garland strip, they don't fit together very well and they kind of look weird and they start to pop off. So um, all you need to do is just let a little bit of air out. Also, if you push into the top of the balloon, it makes it a little bit more round. So somewhere between these two sizes. You do want some that are a little smaller and just slightly larger. Um, it just, when you have, you'll have certain spots where a different size balloon is gonna fit better. And you'll see that as you assemble it. Now for the 16s, this one um, I filled pretty full. You don't wanna super underfill these because then you kinda of lose some of the fullness. And the way that we add these on the garland, you're gonna have the other 11 inch balloons sort of fill in this little space around the bottom. So don't underfill these too much. And you can really tell when a balloon is getting as full as it should be, if it starts getting really oblong, that's when you wanna stop. Um, so if you're concerned about popping, don't, uh, don't just let it go and go and go and go. One quick note too, you don't want to underfill them so they're teeny tiny. Um, you want them to be a good solid 9, 10, 11 inches, somewhere in there. This is a little too small. This is going to start decreasing the length of your garland and you're going to decrease the fullness too. So same thing with the five inch balloons. You don't want them this big. They're not gonna fit very well when you start adding them and they're gonna look kind of weird. So you want them smaller, about the size of, about the size of a fist, depending on how big your hand is, I guess. Um, but definitely small and round. Um, and I would kind of vary them between these, you know, don't do them all super full. Um, it actually makes it harder to fit everything together if they're all as full as you can make them. Because even the blue one, this is as full as I would go, and then, you know, this one's a little bit smaller. You want to have that variation because when you start trying to, like, tuck things into creases and crevices, uh, you don't want to have something that's too big that it's not going to fill the space proper. Since we are doing a rainbow pattern, we've got all of our pink together, and so we're going to start adding them to our garland strip here. You just get to slide it into this little keyhole. I will show you up close what that looks like. Okay, so just to kind of show you how the garland strip works, when you go to insert it, hopefully you can see this little keyhole here, there's a larger keyhole and a smaller keyhole. So you just want to take the end of the balloon, you want to pop it into the larger keyhole and slide it over. You actually don't want to pull this down past this here. It's going to feel like it's more secure, but what happens is you can puncture the balloon and then they can start to leak. So we've had that happen. So at first it's going to feel really floppy. It's going to feel like this whole thing isn't very secure, but as soon as it starts to fill up and shape out, it's going to be just fine and you're not going to have that. You're not going to have that feeling. So there we go. See that? Super easy. My first one is going to be a 16 inch balloon. I'm just gonna add that. 
Now, since I'm doing a 16, I'm skipping a keyhole. Um, that is going to make everything sit in next to each other once this starts to get full. So at the beginning, it's gonna feel like, oh, it's very floppy and I don't wanna do that. And I'm telling you, trust me, <laughs> leave that hole open. So I'm gonna add three 11 inch balloons and I'm gonna skip a keyhole and I'm gonna add a 16. And when I'm adding these to the garland strips, in general, I'm I'm sort of going back and forth. So I'll add one in on this side, and then I'll go this side, and then this side, and this side. Um, as it starts to take shape, that might change, but in the beginning, that is what I would recommend doing. It's very static in here, and I will always caution you with static, whether you're on carpet or you're just in a drier climate or whatever it is that's creating static, um, that can cause things to pop, so or just makes them more apt to pop. So just be, be a little bit careful, be mindful of that. Um, don't, don't rub your socks on the carpet <laughs> if you can avoid it. So again, I'm getting to my 16, so I've skipped a keyhole. I'm adding this in. You know, even now it still feels it still feels a little floppy, but we're still at the beginning stages, so not to worry. my build here, um, you're going to get a 16 foot garland strip. So you can either cut it off at the end, or you can just take this and you can, you know, wrap it behind, tuck it up here. Um, that way, if you want to use it again, you can. So if you next time just want to buy balloons and you can just use the garland strip and you can kind of adjust your length as needed for that project. Um, so we're going to just grab our five inch balloons and start adding those with our glue dots. To start adding the five inch balloons, I do like to figure out where I want to place them before I start putting glue dots on. Um, that way I don't end up with glue dots in the wrong spot. So I kind of measure and I'm like, I want it about right here. So I put the glue dot there and then I pop that on like so. Um, I kind of want to fill in this spot up here. It's probably where I should have started. The other thing that you can do, um, you can take your glue dots and like, I don't like how that one keeps flopping back, so I'm just gonna tack it down and then it fills that gap in a little bit easier. So if you have some spots where things are just not coming together, um, tack them together with your glue dots. So we're gonna pop this one in here. So I want it roughly at this spot, like so. And then I'm gonna come down right here put that like so and it's kind of floating a little so I want it to stay. One thing you want to make sure when you're putting these on and you're gluing them down um, you want to make sure those tails are sort of tucked behind you. It's kind of another reason you don't want to move this around once you've set it up because if you do balloons will flop. These balloons on the garland strip will flop and then these will kind of kind of pop out a little bit. So sort of another disadvantage of glue dots. The other disadvantage is that once these are placed, they are not moving, they will pop the balloons, so make sure they are where you want them to be, or you're, if you try to pull them apart, they are gonna pop. So, um, so we're just gonna kinda keep adding these along so you can see how we go, and uh, see what this looks like when we're done. Here is our final build. This is a 10 foot garland showing you with all of the five inch balloons added. Um, you can definitely add more five inch balloons if you'd like, but this is what kind of comes with it standard. Um, we have found that some people don't like to spend quite as much time inflating the balloons because that is gonna be the most time consuming part. Otherwise, putting it together is pretty quick and easy. 
Um, if you would like to check out our other videos to see how to tie balloons in or use string or not use glue dots, we have a lot of really great other methods if you want to check those out. Otherwise, you should be all set and ready to go.